So one of the big challenges that uh, almost certainly everyone faces is aging. Aging uh, is difficult physically on the rest of your body, but it's also difficult on the nervous system in general. Uh, cognition tends to decline over time, something known as presbycusis, where your hearing tends to decline over time. And what we find in neuroscience is that those are not necessarily problems with your ear, they're problems with your brain. So that is a, uh, those are good examples of potential areas where neural engineers can help to uh, help everyday people uh, to overcome challenges in their life. Neural engineering uh, is an area that uh, aims to build technology and tools to interface with the central nervous system. I think that both Dr. Owais and I are very focused on technologies that um, can both help understand the brain as well as um, help people who've been injured or have disease states. The federal government in the, here in the U.S. has, uh, has provided this the brain initiative, which is a diversion of funds through across agencies, across uh, a lot of federal agencies, to focus on neurotechnologies, to focus on aspects of studying the nervous system that will help us understand it better. Um, and through those, hopefully we can develop better tools and techniques to treat disorders as well as prevent uh, injuries, uh, et cetera. One of the exciting features I've uh, seen at the time when I visited before formally coming here, uh, how buildings uh, belonging to different colleges and departments are adjacent to each other, uh, particularly the uh, engineering college uh, how uh, uniquely positioned uh, it is um, next to the Shands Hospital and the McKnight Brain Institute and uh, uh, various uh, departments um, that I think are crucial uh, to um, maintain and uh, flourish active collaborations between researchers from different disciplines. I think that the University of Florida is in an excellent position with uh, the specialists that are on campus in the field such as material science, for example, everything at, uh, at the Shands, as well as the preeminence focus is, is really well done to make strides in some of these areas, including neuroscience. So I think that there is an excellent chance to make a real impact here at the University of Florida.